Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're not in a Volvo, as you can probably tell. We are in the Jeep. I thought I'd bring you on a POV drive in the daytime. I've had this car for a year now, and um, I haven't really done much with it at all in terms of on the channel. But now we're back from Sweden, I've missed it. Um, so I thought I'd do sort of a quick, yeah, POV drive. It's not gonna be a fast one, because a big coach is in front of us, but um, I thought it'd be, fun nonetheless we've got a beautiful day the sun is sort of entering golden hour so um can't complain at all really but uh yeah so we've had this car nearly a year already um it's absolutely flown by bought on the 29th of march i don't know what the date is today the, the radio is telling me it's the 13th of december um so yeah <laughs> that's uh, it's one of those um Mrs. DL has a Apple CarPlay, so it just plugs in, so we never actually use it. Or well, I, I, I'm an, I'm an Android, so I just Bluetooth. I don't ever use it to tell the time, so that's why it's always wrong. And I've never been able to set the time on it for some reason. No, but it's an aftermarket unit, um, so yeah, it's not something that really bothers me. But yeah, a year with this car, we've done fifteen thousand miles in it in that time, uh, which is a fair few for this thing. Um, Considering it was meant to be sort of a second runaround vehicle, but it, we love it too much, really. Uh, Mrs. DL obviously daily drives it um, when the Volvo isn't around, so it's yeah, it's had its fair bit of use. And we were just taking it on trips. We just love taking it to places. We had it at the Shelsley Walsh Breakfast Club last weekend, um, where it sort of went down a treat there as well. Um, but you just don't see many of them at all. I guarantee we won't see a single one on this journey that we're about to do. Um, and we're in rural Herefordshire, so yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it's just been an absolute joy to own. It's not it's not the best car to drive, like I said in the last video on it. It's it's possibly the worst car in every single aspect, apart from off-roading. But that just makes it so fun. Um, it is fantastic to drive. Um, but for its own very, very strange reasons. Um, not being able to brake well, steer, or accelerate is oddly charming. Um, <laughs> which is, yeah, part of the appeal, I suppose. Um, it's a very old coach. It's older than me, that coach. Um, so, we'll just negotiate this crossroads here. Just like that, nice and easy. This car gets so much attention, everybody just stares at you. I'm just going to put this down so I'm not blinded. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, this is a 2008 Jeep Wrangler JK with a 2.8 CRD engine, which is diesel, um, made into an automatic gearbox, four speed uh, in this, the Chrysler model. Um, it's a short wheelbase version as well, so it's a bit more bouncy and. Uh, well, yeah, a bit more bouncy than the um, long wheelbase model, um, which often is, yeah, much smoother over bumps, uh, should we say. But a few modifications, it's got bigger wheels, bigger tyres, uh, different front bumper. You can see there's a big aerial there uh, with a CB radio just here. Um, so it's, it's had a few bits and pieces, also got a Mac on the engine as well just to make it keep up with modern day traffic, which actually means that it's pretty well, I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, and up to past 60, you're not really going anywhere, but you um, don't really need to, do you? We've got the temp box on the top. Ah, there's two more modifications. Um, big exo roof rack, uh, sort of mounts, so might just be able to see it over there. Uh, and then we've got a tent box rooftop tent on the top as well for our lovely camping adventures that we like to go on. Uh, Mrs. DL and I are now Otto. So uh, yeah, it's it's not standard, but as a result, none of those things improve fuel economy. Um, and that's one of the biggest kickers with this thing. One of the, the, the hardest pills to follow. You get overtaken, even though you're doing pretty much the speed limit, because I think people just think we're slow anyway. Um, and we're just, just coming to a 40 now anyway, so I'm going to follow them in the 40. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so what have we averaged? What are we averaging? 
21.6 mpg, so not fabulous. Um, I had hoped that it was displaying American mpg, like a subscriber had mentioned before. However, I've done my own calculations and it's not. It's showing a very optimistic UK figure. Uh, we drove down from Herefordshire to Kent, about five hours, uh, 260 miles, and we have reached 18 to the gallon on the motorway. So uh, that was quite an expensive trip, believe it or not. A whole tank of diesel, £100, and then £100 the other way. But far cheaper than a train and far more fun uh, is how I justify it. Um, so, yeah, so we do a fair few events as well with 10 box lots. We've got a few weekends coming up. Uh, where we're doing events, but uh, yeah, overall it's just a legend of a car. Um, Mrs. DL has already agreed that we'll never sell this car, um, even if it's banned or whatever. We'll just get it converted to electric or hydrogen or whichever's coming, whichever makes more sense at the time. Um, so you get around 300 miles on a tank, and the tank will now cost you well around. I mean, I stuck a hundred pounds in it the other day um, for three quarters of a tank, but that's more because of prices have gone ridiculous. Indicator, thank you. Um, rather than uh, it having a big tank, it's got a smaller tank than the Volvo. This is 55 litres. This fuel tank, the Volvo's got a 70 litre fuel tank. Um, so yeah, and obviously at 21 to the gallon um, with roughly. 12 and a half gallons, I think, 55. Very, very quick maths. Um, it's, yeah, it's not 12 gallons, 12 gallons. It's, uh, yeah, not ideal um, for long distance driving. Although 300 miles, whether you're doing off-road or locally, is still enough. We probably fill it up once a week, so it's not too bad. Uh, the biggest kicker is the tax that we've just had to pay on this. £585 for the year. Now, European lot amongst you are going to go, well, hang on a minute, that's not that expensive. Uh, we sometimes pay that a month for diesel cars. And yeah, yeah. I, I, I can only apologise <laughs> for my moaning about how expensive this is. But in the UK, that is the highest possible tax band. Apart from there's a £600 one as well, actually. But it's nearly the highest possible tax band. And actually, a new car with say a 5 litre V8 that kicks out more CO2 it's capped at around £600 so um, yeah it is the worst you can get really um, but that's just the cost of driving an awesome truck we absolutely love it now we've got on the tyres it has Toyo Open Country's all terrains uh, and they're brilliant tyres they've lasted well, they're going to last a very long time. With with these big, chunky off-road tyres, you get nearly 60, 70, 80,000 miles on them, depending on what you use them for. If you do hardcore off-roading and skid them off rocks, etc., you're going to get less. If you literally use it for motorways, then you'll probably get 100,000 miles. You'll have to change the tyres because they'll be so old, rather than having to change them because they've worn down. As a result, they're not the most uh, high-performing tyre on the road, so just don't push the truck really do you it's, it's not a racing car um, although it, it can feel like it sometimes you, you feel like you're going flat out and having an excellent time um, and then realize you're doing 50 miles an hour uh, and that's 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 what you really do on, on on these country lanes like this you don't tend to go very fast at all anyway and on a roads on this it's not that fun to go fast so just cruise along at your own speed which is nice, it's got cruise control, so we'll set that on now. It's one of the annoying button, the sort of the evil ones down here, like Mercedes have. It is old Mercedes switch gear. Um, it's the Chrysler and Mercedes had a tie up at the time this car was built. Although it's a Jeep, there's a yeah, there's there's connections between them uh, to make things interesting. I'm gonna stop here because we have a rather large tractor coming. There we go, saw that over the hedge, and another one as well, it's the joys of living in the countryside. And they're holding around stuff that's particularly smelly at this time. He's just driving along on his phone. Um, welcome to the countryside. But um, yeah, there's not much else to really say about this truck. It's just fantastic. Um, so 2.8 litre, 
four-cylinder diesel made by a company called WM Moturi, which is an Italian company. Uh, puts out around 177 horsepower as standards. Uh, puts out a little bit more with the map, I think it's nearly 200 or something. Nothing major. Quite a talky motor, I can't remember the exact figures. Um, but it's very, very undertuned. These engines are very, meant to be very reliable. Um, the company that make it are do make tractor engines, so they know a thing or two about heavy duty, uh, heavy work cycle engines. So this being quite a light car um, means that yeah, you don't get many issues. Now you might notice there's quite a bit of rattling and squeaking. That's to do with the various roof boxes and stuff in here that we've got. We've got camping over in the back. Um, it's not an awful car. <laughs> well, but a lot of you might think it is an awful car, but I love it. Uh, it's just hilarious. Um, so yeah, we got we got a very good deal on this one as well when we bought it. Um, it's gone up in value since we've had it, so probably not enough to offset the running cost and the tax uh, and the insurance. But it's how I how we can justify to ourselves that it's working, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. But uh, yeah, so um, let me know your thoughts. I, quite a few of you guys I know quite like these, or, and I think any any man has looked at them and gone, I want one of those at some point in our lives, whether we care to admit it or not. Um, I think we can all... Sorry about that. I think we can all um, appreciate the sort of off-road capabilities of these things. Um, a big lever down here for four low, four high, etc. So yeah, it's uh, quite a quite a beast off road. But um, yeah, I'll uh, end the video there just before the GoPro falls off anymore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the description, in the comment box down below, and subscribe for plenty more Jeep and Volvo content. See you next one. Cheers.